I love trying out new looks. I'm all about contour, but I've definitely made the mistake of going a little too crazy. <laughs> I was born in a place called Kakuma, which is actually one of the largest refugee camps in Kenya. My background couldn't be more far from fashion and the glamorous lifestyle. So I was the first Muslim model to grace the covers of fashion publications. I was the first to be on the runway wearing a hijab. As a black kid in Africa, you don't process a lot about you and the ideas that are sold to you. Just growing up and realizing that you're wrong, anything that you have is yeah. bad. Your hair is nappy. Why do I feel the obligation to wear wigs every day, day in, day out? Like, I cannot do without wigs every day. Slap that lace front on and, and then even I take my lace front off. I feel like I just removed my beauty. That's why I'm happy with where we are now. Mm. And the most important thing about where we are now is that we can have these conversations mm -hmm. and we can have them openly mm -hmm. because by doing this, we're paving a way mm -hmm. for the new generation. Beauty is very fluid. And you know, I think beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but it can be anything you want it to be. It, it's experimental. You play around and you see what works best with your features. And so for me, I'm slowly like embracing, uh, being a little bit more open-minded. I think the biggest misconception is that it's all about vanity and nothing else. And I think there's beauty with purpose, that it's okay to be unique, it's okay to be different, but you should still love yourself unapologetically and you should be proud of who you are and where you come from. Self-care starts with self-acceptance, which starts with seeing examples of beauty that represent your own. And so to be that role model for young Muslim girls in my community who wear the hijab, it's just been a dream come true. How much did your own experience shape in your line? I think my brand was therapy for me. It was a cathartic expression. I wanted black women to reconnect with their ancestors and their story and their history mm -hmm. and see it in, in its most beautiful way. I just yeah. want everybody to understand mm -hmm. that the world is beautiful because we're different. And that's what excites me about this range that I have just launched with Walmart exclusively called Oma by Sharon C. It's so personal to me, I put my name on it. The first two years of my career, I had complete control over my image. It was a partnership where I got to have a say in how my hijab was styled. And then the last two years of my career, I let the team on set style me. It got to a place where fashion was clashing with my values. I stepped back and I quit. How do you practice self-love? Loving myself means expressing myself as me unapologetically every single day. It's just been transformational for me, like stepping into that place where I'm now so comfortably in my skin mm -hmm. and everything else disappears. You will unleash powers in yourself that you didn't even know existed. Mm -hmm. And you will feel, in the end, unstoppable, mm -hmm. which will make you become unstoppable. I find that when I have a good skincare regimen, turmeric, honey, aloe vera, you have this beautiful, naturally vibrant skin and you don't have to play around with makeup as much because you're not hiding anything. You're accentuating what's already underneath. And also working on my mental health because when you feel your best, you look your best. Something I always say is being the first is not easy, but it's so necessary. You take the bruises and bumps and make it easier for the next generation of young girls. Don't change yourself, change the game. You've inspired a lot of women. What advice do you have to the young girl that's you know, tuning in and watching this? I mean, we're now in a world where quite literally being yourself is the ultimate rebellion. Mm -hmm. Don't expect people are gonna always embrace you for being yourself, you know? Trust the process. Everything that happens to you is by design. I think it's all part of that process of self-love and self-respect when you own your identity proudly. So in a world that's constantly changing, I think the best thing you can do is remain you. Just having a conversation with somebody like Sharon, who is an industry expert, reaffirmed some of my beliefs. So I will be continuing to use my platform to you know, speak on inclusion and representing my community and especially young Muslim girls who wear the hijab and, and think that they can't do something or enter a space. I want to take time to step away, to focus on myself, to recenter and come back stronger than ever. That's how I feel the most beautiful.